because we have free markets. That's why you can see even foreigners come to Africa, the Chinese, the Indians, the so many foreigners, they come to Africa and they start businesses and they succeed because they have the capital. Hello, 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 guys. How are you doing? This is Samoze the Grey, aka the village boy himself. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, just consider subscribing. If you've been coming back to watch my videos, congratulations. Welcome, and we are on a roll to a thousand subscribers. Wow, I'm so so happy, guys. And I know me alone, I cannot do it. It's because you are because of your support and your time guys i really really appreciate you i don't take you for granted i know without you i'm nothing uh because uh in life we depend on each other you have to provide value to people and them they will provide value for you that's why i decided to share these things so that i know in one way or the other there is someone i'm helping out there so we depend it's a symbiotic type of relationship <laughs> so thank you guys and uh welcome to my village guys welcome to my shamba i'm in coastal kenya africa and i'm happy to connect with you this morning because it's early in the morning and i'm very very happy to connect with you and uh without much ado i would like to jump right into the video you know africa it's easy to succeed but also it's hard to succeed <laughs> i know <laughs> it's like i'm confusing you but it is what it is and it's the fact in life in africa it's easy to succeed but it's also hard to succeed what do i mean by saying so you know If you have capital, if you have capital, you may not have skills, but if you have capital, any form of capital, maybe money, maybe you have land, you can sell that land at, uh, and, and, and have money, and that money is, can be the capital. So if you have capital in Africa, it's easy to succeed. But if you don't have capital here in Africa, life, starting a business can be very, very hard thing to do. That's why I'm saying it's hard to succeed and also it's easy to succeed here in Africa. It's easy because in Africa we have free markets. It's just you to start a business and be able to produce a quality product and people will be happy buying from you. Because we have free markets. That's why you can see even foreigners come to Africa, the Chinese, the Indians, the so many foreigners, they come to Africa and they start businesses and they succeed because they have the capital. You cannot start anything in Africa without capital. Because in Africa, there is nobody to give you the capital especially the the youth i will talk about the youth because i'm also young i'm a youth i've seen so many youth here in africa complaining that we cannot do this we cannot proceed we cannot start a business because we don't have money we go because we don't have capital and it's true our life is this miserable because we don't have capital to start things that are going to help us in life it is true it is true and that is the same complaint you you, you hear to you, you hear from so many people here in africa they complain every day that we don't have capital 
That's why our life is like this. It is true. But again, I just want I just want to ask you a question. Who is responsible for your growth, for your success? The answer is you, not the banks, not, not the government, not the banks, not the sponsors, not any other person, just you. I've seen so many people, especially from the, uh, from the art industry. Maybe someone is a singer, maybe someone is a, an, art, uh, an actor, maybe an actress. Talking to them like, what are your plans? What are your plans to make your dream come true? He say, like, I'm planning to get sponsors. I can get people to, 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 hold, to hold my hand and make me succeed. But the question is, what if you don't get those people to hold your hand? What if you don't get those sponsors? How is your life going to be? That is a question everybody has to ask themselves. You, start, you are starting that business, you are starting that project, and there is nobody to hold your hand. But that is your dream. That is your life. There is nobody to give you money. There is nobody to give you the capital. There is nobody to give even advice to you. What are you going to do to make sure your dream come true? That is the question you have to ask yourself. I'm talking to those people from the art industry, but not only them. I'm talking to everyone. If you want to start a business, if you want to start any, any project here in Africa, this is the question you have to ask yourself. If there is nobody to hold your hand, does it mean that your life is going just to perish like that? Or maybe you are going to look for ways to make sure those dreams come to reality. That is the question you have to ask yourself. And the 99% of the people here in Africa don't, wanna, they don't want to ask themselves that kind of question. 99% of the people here in Africa don't want to... To, to, to ask themselves these kinds of questions. That if there is no ball to hold my hand, what am I going to do to make sure that dream I have come to reality? I have a youth here. <laughs> this youth, <laughs> I'm very, very happy for him. You know, it's much month of march here in kenya africa and as you know here in kenya africa uh january february march april those are the month uh, those are those are the hardest months because there is drought the sun is like it's so hot here in, uh, here in coastal kenya during these four months but you can see, he started this project. Huh? He started this project February, early February. And you can see how he's doing it. You can see how he's doing it. Using his hands to irrigate this place. No machines, no capital to start. Just small amount of man to lease this uh, to lease this land and this is the results let me show you guys this is the results as you can see a very very beautiful amaranth a very very beautiful amaranth but he's using his hands to irrigate fetch water from the well and irrigate his vegetable. That is what we call hard work. That is what 
that is what we call answers to our problems. Don't wait for people to help you. Help yourself first. Help yourself first. Because from here, now you can get the capital. Even if it's not a, a big amount of money, a huge amount of money, but you can get something. Now that's something you get, if you get that something, it's up to you now to, to increase yourself. Maybe to get one machine, to get one, maybe to get a solar pump, water pump. And through that, you, now you'll be proceeding. You'll be going forward. You'll be going to the dreams. Not just sitting there and complain like there is nothing to be done. Life is hard. You don't have capital. You don't have knowledge. You don't have anything. And you are there just sitting. You don't have anything that you are doing. That's why only 1%. Only 1% of the people are happy. They have their life together. But the 99 of, 9, 9 of the people here in Africa complain every day. And their life is very, very miserable. They live under $1 a day. It's very, very bad. So, find solution. If they're going to hold your hand, it's okay, but let them get you on the way. You're just, you're already going. And it's easy to get people to help you if you're already going. Than if you're sitting and you're asking for, uh, for help. It's easy to get people to help you if you're already going. Than if you're sitting, crying for help. People will see like you're joking, man. <laughs> people will take you as a joker. So, my cry, my cry to you people, I have very, very huge passion for my people, for my African friends, brothers and sisters, even those from the diaspora, I really, really love you and I really, really love your success because your success is my success. Even if it's not direct, I know indirect it's my success. That's why I will not stop sharing these things. And it's up to you to follow or maybe to just leave it like that. If you follow and if you start to find the solution to your problem, you are going to succeed. Your life is going to change for the better. But if you sit there and you complain every day, what I can assure you is you are going to remain where you are. But that one is it's a lie. You are going to be to go down even deeper than where you are, because life is either you go or you move for you move backward. It's it's either you go forward or maybe you go backward. You cannot stay constant. So it's up to you to, to choose. My brother's my my brother here is doing something to make sure uh, he's moving towards his goal. It's a dream. And it's up to you. So that is what I wanted to tell you guys. Subscribe to the channel. If you really found value in this video, subscribe to the channel. In that way, you'll be notified whenever I upload video so that you can get the value I produce every day. And also, I'll be getting value from you. So we'll be depending on each other to succeed. So subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll be appreciating. I'll be so much happy. So till next time, ciao. <laughs>